Hey, what's up everyone? This is Valera Kushner from DabbleLab at DabbleLab.com and we continue talking about prototyping your first mobile app idea. Uh, last video we finished off at uh, having our Instagram prototype in uh, a sketch and right now you're seeing a totally different thing with a fully complete uh, UI. Uh, so you might be wondering what is this and how do you get there? Uh, let me tell you how. We talked before about how you do not need a designer uh, to prototype your first mobile app. And uh, when we finished on this design, I was telling you guys that I will tell you how to go from here to uh, getting these icons and actually having a much better, cleaner, colorful UI like you saw in a previous uh, clip. So where did I get these icons, first of all? Well, here are a couple of resources that I wanted to introduce you guys to. Uh, number one, Sketch App Sources at sketchappsources.com is by far the best. Uh, crowdsource resource for um, different uh, things for your sketch uh, application. Uh, anything from uh, icons to uh, UI interfaces, UI kits, and uh, you know anything you can want to find and then find it. But if I go icons, uh, anything you need you can find here. So things like uh, you know Capitan uh, icons, uh, different uh, you know. People, icons that people made, maybe in you know, a fruit or smileys, whatever it might be, uh, you can find it here. And uh, like I mentioned, UI kits. So your question is probably, well, what is a UI kit? Uh, a UI kit is what you saw in the previous um, uh, in Sketch, the purple one. And a UI kit is basically a fully designed UI interface uh, that someone else designed and you can download from a resource such as UI8, number 8.net and use for your mobile app. And uh, I will show you how to do that. And uh, basically it's very simple. You All you have to do is download it, install it, and uh, then you can copy and paste, drag and drop, and uh, you will be able to use it for your app. Uh, and it will look pretty and you will not need to use a professional designer to do these services. And the other great resource and uh, where you can download the UI kit that you saw me using is envisionapp.com slash do and uh, Envision app is a great resource as a whole and we will discuss what it does and how to use it. Uh, but right now we will just focus on this uh, UI kit called do and you can download it for Photoshop and Sketch and uh, here it is. It's free and uh, you guys should get it. Once you get it, we'll take a look at that. All right, guys, so now that we downloaded the uh, UI kit called do from Envision app, let me show you how to work it. Uh, so once you open it, it's very simple. Essentially, this is a finalized uh, UI interface that you can use to work on your own UI. And uh, let's say if we create a new uh, artboard, and uh, we'll do iPhone 6 at uh, 750 by 1334, like we always do. And uh, it's over here at the bottom. We'll bring it to the top. Uh, once we do, oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, once we do this, it all really becomes very simple and intuitive and as simple as drag and drop. Uh, you can click on this bar and you can drag onto your own art um, artboard and you have that element or you can uh, copy and paste, command C, command V and uh, it will be over here and you drop it again. Or if you want to copy this air, uh, control C and you click on your artboard and you click command V, it will appear there. Uh, so from here you can actually prototype your entire app, anything from backgrounds to different fields. Uh, to different boxes and icons and all this is done without the use of a real um, full professional designer. So like I said this is a great solution to uh, build your interface once you are finished with your mockups without the use of a, a designer and it uh, really helps you to save costs and time and uh, most importantly you can explore and learn how to do this on your own. Once again thanks so much guys this is Valeria Kushner from DabLab at DabLab.com. Have a great one.